Bewitchingly beautiful Bermuda is one of the few places in the modern world that still remain wrapped in an aura of superstitious mystery. Welcome back to the dark mystery. The Bermuda Triangle, sometimes called the Devil's Triangle, Limbo of the Lost, the Twilight Zone, and Nudo Sea, covers some 500,000 square miles of the Atlantic Ocean. Its apexes are most commonly defined as Bermuda, the southernmost tip of Florida, and San Juan, Puerto Rico although some place a boundary closer to Chesapeake Bay than to Miami. It seems to have been christened in February 1964 when Winston Gaddis wrote an article titled The Deadly Bermuda Triangle for Argosy Magazine. Long before the myth of Bermuda Triangle became popular. Bermuda had already earned a reputation as an enchanted island. It was nicknamed the Devil's Islands by early sea travelers frightened by the calls of careful birds and the screams of wild pigs that could be heard on shore. But perhaps the most damning tales were told by sailors terrified of shipwreck on Bermuda's treacherous stretch of reefs. The island's mystical reputation was perhaps immortalized in Shakespeare's The Tempest, a tale of shipwreck and sorcery in the still west Bermudas. The early origin of the triangle myth stretches as far back as Columbus, who noted in his logbook a hair wire comes, strange lights, and a burst of flame falling into the sea. Columbus, as well as other seamen after him, also encountered a harrowing stretch of ocean now known as the Sargasso Sea. Ancient tales tell of sailboats stranded forever in a windless expanse of water, surrounded by seaweed and the remnants of other unfortunate vessels. It is true that the relics have been found in the Sargasso Sea, an area of ocean in between Bermuda and the Caribbean. But the deadly calm waters are more likely the result of circular ocean currents sweeping through the North Atlantic rather than the par paranormal activity. In the past 500 years, at least 50 ships and 20 aircraft have vanished in the triangle, most without a trace. No wreckage, no bodies, no nothing. Many disappeared in reportedly calm waters without having sent a distress signal. Among the legends is that of the Mary Celeste, a 103-foot brigantine found floating and abandoned in 1872. But the real mystery of the Mary Celeste is that she turns up in triangle tales at all. The ship was actually found off the coast of Portugal. Then there is the case of Flight 19 at 2.10 on the afternoon of December 5th, 1945. Five TV Avenger torpedo bombers took off from Fort Lauderdale, Florida on a routine two-hour training mission. The 
their last radio contact was at 4 p.m. The planes and 27 men were never seen or heard from again. The official Navy report said the planes disappeared as if they had been flown to Mars. The bizarre disappearances attributed to the triangle have been linked to everything from alien abduction to sorcery. Although the mystery has not yet been completely solved, there are scientific explanations for many of the maritime disasters that have occurred in the triangle. The most obvious answers are linked to extreme weather conditions with which any Bermudian fisherman would be well acquainted. White squalls, intense, unexpected storms which arrive without warning on otherwise clear days, are probable culprits along with the water spouts, the equivalent of sea tornadoes. The most recent scientific theory on the infamous triangle suggests that the freakish disappearance of ships and aircraft could be the result of large deposits of methane gas spewing up from the ocean floor. Huge eruptions of methane bubbles may push water away from a ship, causing it to sink. If the highly flammable methane then rises into the air, it could ignite in an airplane's engine, causing it to explode and disappear. Fact or Fiction The Bermuda Triangle is a part of local lore that won't disappear anytime soon. But don't let the legend scare you away. The triangle isn't the only thing that makes this island seem magical.